Now let's quickly take a look at SNMP. SNMP stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. SNMP is an application layer protocol, exists on OSI layer 7. It's used for managing and monitoring network devices in real time. It uses UDP port 161 and 162. There are three different versions of SNMP. There's SNMP version 1, SNMP version 2C, finally SNMP version 3 came along. SNMP version 2C and 3 are the most widely adopted versions globally. SNMP operates on the concept of client server model and the first component is the server. So SNMP manager is a server. It can either run on a PC or a server and it's responsible for running the NMS or network management system. Now typically you wouldn't want to run it on a PC. Typically an SNMP manager is properly set up and installed on a dedicated piece of appliance, on a dedicated piece of hardware server. Could be a virtual server too, but the bottom line is that it's a dedicated device for capturing SNMP traps and SNMP events. And finally, we have an SNMP agent. That's a client that runs on a network device, network device being a router or a switch or a firewall. And that device is responsible for managing a list of database variables called Management Information Base or MIB. Now let's quickly talk through the different SNMP elements. So as I alluded to, switches and routers, they're considered SNMP agents and they run MIBs or Management Information Base on them. And you have the SNMP Manager, which is basically the SNMP server, also called NMS network management system. And what you do is if these endpoints, the SNMP agent proactively sends information or logs to the SNMP manager or the NMS system, that's considered a trap. And UDP port 162 is utilized to do that. Whereas when the SNMP server requests as an SNMP information to be shared, that's considered polling. And it uses UDP port 161. You would monitor events like bandwidth usage on the device or a particular interface. You would look at CPU utilization, memory utilization. You look at disk consumption. You look at things like interface status, up or down. These are some minor examples of SNMP MIBs. Now, just to put things in perspective, a typical router could have thousands, upwards of 5,000 MIBs defined. And same thing goes for switches. So you have a lot of information that you can potentially pull and a lot of traps that you can send to the NMS system. Now let's go a little bit deeper into SNMP polling and traps and also speak to the SNMP security. As I alluded to, SNMP manager or NMS, it polls the SNMP agent to obtain information. So the example is, as a user, I can sit on an NMS server or an SNMP server and I can send what's called an SNMP GET request to see if a certain interface is up up on a router. Now, conversely, SNMP agent can also initiate communication with NMS via sending a message called trap. So an example is a switch, which is considered an SNMP agent, can proactively send an alert to NMS about a certain interface that just went down. And Finally, from an SNMP security perspective, the earlier versions of SNMP, version 1 and version 2C, used SNMP communities, which were clear text passwords. So there was actually no concept of security in version 1 at all. 
SNMP version 2C was a slight enhancement of version 1, but all it did was allowed authentication, but it was clear text password, so that's not good enough. And it used community strings, read only, and read write community strings for these two versions. As a best practice, when you have SNMP configured, what you want to do on your endpoints, like your SNMP agents, like routers and switches and firewalls, is you set up what uh, IPv4 and IPv6 access control lists, or ACLs. And the whole reason you would want to do that is to define the NMS hosts or the SNMP servers so your devices know exactly who the servers are and who they need to trust in order to be able to communicate and provide information. Because the last thing you want is some random rogue host on your network doing SNMP polling on your devices. That's not a good place to be. And SNMP version 3 was the first version that introduced the concept of message integrity, authentication, and encryption. So it's a full package when it comes to utilizing security. You should always, always, always be using SNMP version 3 when configuring your network. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.